And we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2016 Japan K1 65 kilogram Japan tournament at the Yoyogi National Gymnasium in the second gymnasium. We've got a one off 60 kilogram weight bout here for you. In the red corner, Hirotaka Urabe taking on. In the blue, Johannes Wolf. I'm Brian. And I'm Ross. We're already into the breakdown. So, Urabe, the slightly taller man by three centimeters at 169 cm and slightly younger, only by one year at the age of 26. Um, but a huge amount of fights no! between them. Arabe, 32 Fight. fights, 16 by knockout. Um, and Johannes Wolf, 41 wins, 28 by knockout. Huge, huge. Yeah, big, big records for both these guys. Lots of experience in the ring here right now. We all know how good Urabe is. So sharp, so smooth. We'll see ooh, ooh, what, your, what Wolf brings here. And right off the bat, the, the hooking style kick, very interesting, unique technique selection right off the bat. That was a very fast kick from an angle you wouldn't normally expect. My word, he's chucking kicks like uh, most people chuck jabs. Yeah, well, they're using the side kick there too. Very interesting. So I think we'll see some unique stuff here from Johannes. Yeah, I'm loving the way Johannes is constantly on his toes, shifting his weight forward and back. And it's, it's very, it's very snappy. Yeah, he's using the um, pendulum style sort of rhythmic step, but it lends itself to this lead leg kicking. Yeah, now you can normally predict that style, but he's so fast with it. And he's so good with his range. It works. Wow, nice kick there too. Holy cow. This is going to be really frustrating for Urabe. When you have a guy that just throws these unorthodox, te unorthodox techniques that even if you block them, hurt your arm, they smash, you know, the heel hits you in the, in the forearm. It's just it's really uncomfortable. It's just not fun. It throws you. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's very... Very tricky puzzle to, to work out how to get in. Look at this. Look at this. And um, once it, you know, when he's in there, he's got to make full use of it, Rabe. He really does. But right now, he's got quite the puzzle on his hands. Great, uh, great selection of techniques with the lead leg here. Well, and, and what's interesting, yeah, like what he did there, using the pendulum style step, that's best for counter style fighting. He used the sidekick there as Rabe stepped in and just blasted him under his butt. Ooh. Yeah, oh, he can generate so much power from any angle on his feet. No, he can't. Well, I, mean, I don't think he needs his hands, Brian. No, yeah, he's, he just throws a jab every now and then, yeah. and then a hook kick and a back kick. Uh, unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. His jab's just there to, to say, basically, when I'm not in position, go away. When he throws it down there from the, the hip, the pocket position, it flicks up. It, I mean, even that's frustrating because it comes from a spot when you're kickboxing, you're not used to seeing the low guard. No, I'm a big fan of jabbing from low. You just, it's, it's in a blind zone for most people, it's very tricky. A lot of people criticize it because it's got longer to travel, but it comes from a blind spot. You get that window. Yeah, well, it's great too. Like, you know, if you can if you can play with the lead hand, go high, go low with it. You know, yeah, just have an unpredictable pattern that will set up all of his kicking techniques. Look, he's just, that thing out there again. Urabe just kind of like, what's going on? Like, really, what are you going on? I want to have this fight in a phone booth, and you keep kicking me. Yeah, this is, this is the worst guy to have to fight if you want to be close. Yeah, Urabe's going to get frustrated sooner or later. And you can see it on his face. He's smiling, but he's not happy. Johannes Wolf, and I've got to say, I love the name. Obviously, his nickname is The Wolf, funnily enough. Yes. Um, you know, I've got to say, I'm very impressed with his feet. Wait, he's... Johannes the Wolf. Oh. <laughs> he's, he's making full use of that name. Is, isn't is, is, is his ring name just the? the? Yeah, it could be. It could be. <laughs> That's a good point, you know. Good point. Oh, I'm not sure about that, but I am sure he's the first person I've ever seen that's got paler skin color than me, which is good to see for the change. Yep, yep. So anything that touches him, we will know instantly as it was yeah. red. Maybe this is why he's got the kicking spell, because he just knows breathing on him makes him look so damaged the judges see it, so he just he decides to kick you away. Yeah, it just blows my mind that, you know, guys that kick like this, um, you, you think it's going to just destroy their feet, hitting elbows, but he's just throwing those things beautifully. The sidekick, too, which is a, can be a, a difficult technique to make work um, against the low kicks no! in the kickboxing game. He's just, using it beautifully and off the pendulum step. Look, look how quickly he uses that pendulum step as well. I mean, it's very fast. Yeah. Look at this right now. Ooh, yeah. Oh my 
word. He sets it so well. It's just a little bounce and then oop into the technique. Yeah, normally, Brian, we sit here and we can normally see, you know, roughly what a fighter's looking to do. But I'm, I'm telling you right now, I'm looking at Johannes and I haven't got a clue. I know he's going to kick, yeah. but I have no idea what that's going to involve. Well, and he's keeping his back off the ropes so well. He's just done this all in the middle of the ring. Uh, Robbie hasn't been able to do anything to him. Yeah. Really? He's got on the inside there, clinched up, got his distance again. Yeah, it's, it's so cool. Um, that's what I love about K1 is to see these unique styles here in the ring. It's just great to have a guy like this. He's just doing his own thing and mixing it up, and he's just making the kicking game work so well. Yeah, and he's just, just happy to do that. He doesn't feel the pressure from the crowd, doesn't feel the pressure of the occasion to try and fit in. No, he's sticking to what he does best. And he's really? it. Well, you gotta remember, this is a non-title affair. Urabi is the champion right now. Absolutely, and you know, no offense, if he doesn't stand his authority on this, it doesn't matter if he's got a belt or not, he's not gonna feel like a champion. No, not at all. I mean, Wolf is doing this to the, the best guy in K1 right now. He really is. Look, look, he's just shifting and switching, and he's, he's being very hard to predict. He's so fast, when the world he does call me in, he gets a high guard up, and he shifts so fast. Oh, he's got a clean shot there. Yes. The, th the thing is, too, I mean, to throw these kicks, it takes so much energy, but he just hasn't lost a, a bounce in his step at all. There's three kicks off the lead leg. Side kick, hook kick, round. I mean, it's... It's like he's shadow boxing with his legs. Oh, it's making me tired just looking at it. I don't know what kind of power plant he's got underneath uh, underneath that skin, but um, it's certainly pumping out a lot of horsepower. Oh man, yeah, he, he looks really smooth. And he's just found his rhythm. He really has. Urabe right now, he's just basically, I have no answer for what's going on. I'm just hoping he shows me a target. Yeah, I mean, Urabe just needs to go for broke and get inside. Eat, you know, eat something and get in there. That's it. He hasn't done anything. The trouble is when you eat a punch together, it's not so bad, it's padded fist, but eating a kick, it can put you off a bit. There he is. Yeah, I'm trying to get in there, but Johanna's doing a great job of uh, pushing him back. Yeah, you know, this is the thing, Adorabe can't afford to be pushed back like that. He needs to use a little bit of movement or use some of his uh, size. Well, then once it gets inside kicking range, Johannes has that nice slick jab from below. He really does. I'm a fan of that jab. Oh, getting a bit rough from Arabe here. That's what he's got to do. Yeah, yeah. He needed to be doing this two minutes ago. Yeah. He's got to rough this guy up. He's got to close him down, give him as little time and space to think as possible, and land. Well, it's not that Johannes can't punch either. I mean, he's got a smooth one, too. So he's got techniques at all the different ranges. He just holds his guard low, which is going to make him vulnerable in some that's the second time Arabe's walked back to that corner with that look on his face and he just has that little nod of, really? Like, really? Here we go, let's take a little look at the replays. Wow, oh. and just kissing right up the jaw. I mean, yeah. Those are clean scoring techniques. You know, it, it, look at what we just saw. You know, when Wolf lands, it looks exaggerated because Arabe's got that long hair. When Arabe lands and walks, he's got the short hair, you don't think it's that bad. Mm. You know, these simple little things fighters need to think about. Yeah, well, and Wolf did a good job there. He's sliding back, you know, he ate the right hand, he was moving backwards, he was moving with the shot. Man, he bounced off the ropes, got to the side. You know, he's he's not just a great kicker, but he's got good ring tactics. So, so evasive. But you're right, you know, just to, just to sway back onto the rope and then pivot, that's not an easy thing to do. No. Here we go. No, well, we'll see. I mean, Nancy he looks fine in round two. Um, Cardio-wise, I would imagine Giannis Wolf can just keep this up the whole fight. What is Urabe going to do? Well, normally when you see someone like Johannes Wolf's work rate and the weapons he's bringing to bear, you would worry about his stamina, but we've seen nothing to suggest it's going to be a problem. No. Ooh, nice little kick right. from Urabe himself. Whoa, that's, there you go. That's a good counter. Yep, use the lead leg. Loving it. Two counters with the lead leg and a nice straight right. Now they're just basically exchanging with kicks, which is awesome to see. Yeah, it's uh, not all I expected, but I'm enjoying it. Look at this now. Come on, Arabe, you've got to get off. He's gone back in his shell a little bit. He's got to, got to start being first. You know, what's interesting is you get a little more pressure from Urabe, it's going to force Wolf to be even more creative. And he, the way that he blends his kicks together, I just think it's, it's really unique. Here it is. Here it is. Wolf's got to think about that kick. 
you know, it's a slow recovery from that kick, which gives the robber a hair's breath to get in. Yes. Um, so he's got to get back to more straighter kicks. Robert is going to be looking for that. Yeah, but he still is just able to keep Urabe from really committing and getting inside. Yeah, absolutely. What he's, you know, what he's going through Urabe's mind right now, you know. Well, I'm sure he's thinking, you know, yeah, I, yeah this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, you just me think, why, you know, but he, he's got to pull the trigger, but he's obviously you know, hesitating because these kicks hurt. He doesn't want to eat one as he goes in. He really does not want to eat one. And that's really it. There's, just, there's nothing more complex uh, to think about. Urabe doesn't want to close distance because he's worried about those kicks. He is hoping a kick goes awry and that it provides an opportunity for him to, to land some of his own. And when that happens, I suggest he use his knees and just try and end this quick because he's not going to win this on points. Yeah, no, he, he needs to finish. I mean. Wolf has just built up such a lead, and he's been so busy and active, and it's like 90% with his legs. And put away, even when Arabe gets it, what you think is a clear shot and angle, Wolf is just resolving away. Oh! He stunned him with that one, too. Beautiful. Arabe's really feeling the pressure now. He is well, not happy. And how, uh, you know, ironic is it the cleanest two shots that Wolf lands are with his hands? It's ridiculous. Those rocked his world. It's ridiculous. It's almost insulting. Yes. <laughs> it's, um, but that's how it works because he's so concerned about the legs. He's not going to think about the hands. Oh, and a nice clean yeah. one, too. He's going to find a home. And this is the thing about Wolf. He knows where your focus is. And he knows how to draw your focus. Oh, wow. And use those blind spots. Look at that. He doesn't mind covering up for the last couple of rounds. Wow. Seconds. What a performance. Yeah, yeah. You should raise your hand, Mr. Wolf, because you looked awesome. What a cool fight. Absolutely. Arabe knows he's lost. Look at his body language in the corner there. Um, Wolf is a puzzle. A puzzle that's uh, far too sophisticated for Arabe to work out. My gosh, look at oh. that shot. Beautiful oh. one, too. Arabe took it well. He was clear, mm. but the judges, come on, every, everyone focused and honed in on that. Yes. It was sharp. It was a sharp one too, you know, surrounded by about 50 beautiful kicks. Look at the guy. Look, you know, you can see he's breathing a little bit heavy there. You can always look at the abdomen, but it's not anything special. His cardio is amazing. Wow, well, no surprises there, but I would suggest the biggest surprise was one of the judges who was uh, perhaps feeling a little, uh, ha, you know. A draw? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? No way. There's a little bit of home advantage, perhaps, in the back of it. Ooh, look at this. Holy cow. Get that judge out of here. There is no way that was a draw. No way that was a draw. Not even a Rabe is buying that one. Um, yeah. Yeah, you, I mean, it, it, it's, it's frustrating. It's, it's just so difficult for him, you know, this first fight after winning the championship to have this happen. But... Come on, man. There is no way that was a draw. No, not in a million years was that a draw. That guy needs to needs to be reviewed, shall we say. <laughs> yes. Needs to be reviewed. You know, let's actually check the footage and see if he was awake, first of all. Take that, not drunk. Take that judge out back and shake him down, man. <laughs> that is ridiculous. <laughs> and there you have it. The K1 World Grand Prix 2016 Japan. K1 65 kilogram Japan tournament. We will see you next time.